Hey folks, welcome to the channel Thinking Theology. I'm Don. I'm covering a topic that I've heard come up probably over the 30 years or so. I have been involved in what you might call hardcore or fundamentalist Christianity for maybe up to 15 years, sort of at sometime after college. And then I did a lot of research on my own just because I enjoy research. I enjoy intellectual pursuits which is partly why the channel is titled Thinking Theology. I like thinking, I like being challenged on my thought, and so forth. Over the 30 years or so, I've heard it brought up various times that the Jews killed Jesus. And one of the things when we use language like that is that it's so imprecise that it opens the door for attributing bad things to even contemporary Jews who had nothing to do with the death of Jesus. So there's some sort of loose sense of spiritual continuity, for lack of a better expression or way of wording it, that could sort of justify tying in the death of someone 2,000 years ago to people of today. Now, even back in the time, in Jesus' time, even if you wanted to attribute Jesus' death to the Jews, Firstly, you'd have to be way more specific. Which ones? Because there were tens of thousands of Jews that had nothing to do with it. Maybe they didn't care, they couldn't care less. Who knows? There was a lot of carnage that went on back then. Things into there's carnage that goes on today. It just manifests differently. The Romans actually killed Jesus. They were the ones responsible for the actual death of Jesus. So even though when you read the biblical records, the New Testament of how things came about, they still needed the permission based on then present day law to have Jesus executed for creating problems in the empire. So if you're going to take the approach that anybody that had anything to do with the death of Jesus back then, then you better start going on a Roman hunt and finding out the Romans and the lineages of those, and maybe just blame all Romans or all Italians or all anybody who was present in that time. Just group those people into one lump and say, hey, you're also all responsible for this. So you decide how you want to handle that. So I want, just want to point out that we could take 9-11, for instance. The 19 that are generally regarded as having been responsible for flying the airplanes hijacking and flying the airplanes into the Twin Towers, their offspring are not responsible for that. We don't hold people responsible who didn't directly act. Now, maybe their offspring are in favor of it. Maybe they're not. We don't know. But to say that they automatically are these bad people wishing harm to America is improper. Everybody gets their day in court, so to speak. People are judged on their own merits. And that's what I'm going after here, that the notion that a Jew living today would have anything to do with the death of Jesus back then is inappropriate. It's improper. It leads to breakdowns in communication among people. If you're somebody who likes to proselytize, which most fundamentalist Christians do, then you need to keep doors open if that's your goal. It's not my goal, but if that's your goal as far as thinking goes, you need to keep the doors open and saying, you're a murderer, God's going to hold you responsible for Jesus' death because by some loose association, somehow, you can sort of assign blame. That is not going to get you very far in any kind of conversation with a Jew or with anybody. That mindset, that approach just won't work with people. I mean, you're not responsible for the things that your parents did or grandparents, you wouldn't want to be held responsible for something your grandfather stole back in the day if he was, you know, stole a car. So I think we just ought to uh, accord. Let God, in a sense, whatever your conception of Judgment Day is, let God figure that stuff out. Just be kind to people, but the notion of blaming people for something that happened, blaming today's people for something that happened 2,000 years ago is inappropriate. So just keep that in mind. Kindness is a way better approach. Gentleness is a way better approach when dealing with anything in life, whether it's your faith, whether it's your politics, whether it's your social views, whether, how, whether it's how you treat your family members and friends, acquaintances, or people you don't know. That's what I want to put out there, guys. 
leave your comments, leave an idea for a video if you have one. If it's uh, intriguing enough, I'll get to it. I'll try to get something up there. It doesn't take me long to get videos up. So there you go. Have a great day. I hope you do well and keep thinking theology.